Yo guys, what is going on? It's Luki here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be ranking every single SMG in Warzone from best to worst and I'm going to be giving you guys a class setup for every single one as well. I did also make a video on assault rifles, so if you guys want to check that video out, make sure to check out my channel and it should be on there. So coming in at the last spot, it's going to be the Striker 45. The Striker 45 is by far one of the worst SMGs in the game and by the way, make sure to go ahead and comment down below what your opinions are. Everyone has different opinions. This is just my opinion. So go ahead and comment down below if you agree with me or maybe you guys may disagree with me. But the Striker 45 is definitely in the last spot. I'm not going to talk too much about each weapon as well. I want to try and make this video as fast as possible. But the Striker is definitely the worst. Next up, we have the PP-19 Bison. This is a pretty fun weapon to use because it does have 84 bullets in the magazine, which is quite a lot. However, it is incredibly weak and it's one of the weakest SMGs in the game and it also has hardly any range. So overall, this is definitely not a good SMG to use. Next up, we have the Milano. The Milano is actually one of the slowest time to kill weapons in the entire game. And especially out of pretty much every SMG, it has one of the slowest time to kills because it shoots so, so slow and it doesn't really do that much damage. And overall, the mobility isn't really that good compared to the other SMGs. Next up, we have the Modern Warfare Org. The Org is a pretty decent weapon, but you would use this more as an assault rifle if you were to use it. It does have really good range and really good damage. However, it is one of the slowest mobility SMGs in the game. And when you're comparing it against the other SMGs, it just doesn't really compete. And even if you used it as an assault rifle, it still doesn't compete against much assault rifles. So overall, I wouldn't really use this. Next up we have the brand new PPSH and some of you guys may disagree with me on this one. I get a lot of comments on my TikTok and everyone always says try the PPSH, try the PPSH, it's so good. It's actually one of the worst SMGs in the game because it pretty much has no headshot multiplayer. So if you're against pretty much any weapon and they hit one headshot on you, they're going to win that pretty much most of the time because they're going to get more damage a lot faster. Next up we have the KSP and this weapon does have a lot of damage and it can actually outcompete some weapons sometimes. However, it's very inconsistent and it also has one of the slowest fire rates in the game and I, as you guys probably know, if you have used it, it is actually a burst SMG. So a burst SMG up against full automatic SMGs just isn't going to compete. Next up, we have the ISO, which basically reminds me of a baby M13. This is literally the M13 in an SMG version. It's got really good accuracy, hardly any recoil, really good range, and it's got pretty decent mobility. However, it is incredibly weak, which makes it one of the worst SMGs because you're not really going to be able to do that much damage against certain other SMGs that are on the top of the list. So it definitely doesn't deserve a spot in the top. Next up we have the P90 and it's very similar to the ISO, uh, it does have very low recoil, it does have very good range and the mobility is pretty good. The control statistic is also very high, however the P90 doesn't really have that much damage behind it and it doesn't really have that much power behind it so you're going to get outgunned by a lot of other SMGs. Next up we've got the Uzi which is a pretty fun class to use to be honest and I've been using this uh, every now and then just for a little bit of fun. I do have this in one of my uh, 10 class setups that I use and I basically use it whenever I want to try something different. It is a pretty fun class to use, it can kill pretty fast because it's one of the highest damage SMGs in the game. Not got much recoil, great mobility and overall it's pretty decent and it's a fun class to use. Next up we've got the AK-74U, I feel like the AK-74U doesn't really deserve a top spot because it isn't very reliable, it does have a very high headshot multiplier so it's pretty decent if you hit the headshot and it's pretty good if you only use it on rebirth but in the full Verdansk it's not very good because it's just a bit unreliable and it does have quite a lot of recoil compared to all of the other SMGs and it hasn't really got that much uh, mobility compared to all the other SMGs as well so overall I wouldn't really pull it at the top. Next up we've got the Fennec. Now the Fennec is actually one of the fastest time to kill SMGs in the game within around about 10 meters. So you do have to be close for this weapon to be effective but it does have one of the fastest time to kills in the entire game. But like I said you do have to be close for it to actually work. Anything over about 10 meters it absolutely sucks. Anything close range it's very very good. So that's why 
it's not at the top and also the reload time on this smg is incredibly slow great range great mobility and also great accuracy one of the best accuracies out of all the smgs but it just doesn't compete with the top smgs next up we've got the mp7 the mp7 has been one of my favorite smgs ever since the beginning of warzone however as Cold War has been integrated, there are a lot of SMGs that do overpower this SMG at the moment. But that being said, it still is a very good class to use. It has pretty much no recoil. It's one of the lowest recoils SMGs in the game. And it can basically be used as an assault rifle. Partner this with a car 98K and you're good to go. Next up, we have the Hipfire MP5 from Modern Warfare. And like I said, this has also been one of my favorite weapons for a very long time. However, ever since the Cold War integration, it has now, um, it, it just gets outgunned by a lot of the other SMGs. So it's not really as viable as it used to be, but it still is a very good class. This right here is a Hipfire class. And as you guys know, the Hipfire MP5 is very good. Talking about Hipfire MP5s, the next one on the list is actually the Modern Warfare. I mean, the Cold War MP5, and this MP5 is also a hipfire class. I'm not sure what it is with MP5s and making hipfire class setups, but it just works incredibly well. This is a very good hipfire class. Tim the Tatman used it. A lot of big streamers have been using this lately because of a TikTok um, that went viral. One of mine, I think it was. But anyway, literally everyone has been using this, and it's such a good class. It's so fun. You don't even have to aim down sight, and you can hipfire people so easily. Next up, we've got the MAC-10, and the MAC-10 has, once again, ever since this game has been released into Warzone, it has definitely been top tier. As of the most recent update, um, it has went down a few spaces. Uh, in, the last, in the last season, I would have said this is the number one SMG, but ever since then, um, ever since the new update, there has been a few buffs to other SMGs, so the MAC-10 is a little bit weaker than it used to be, and it can't really compete with them as well. So overall, it is a very good weapon, and I do still love the MAC-10. It's got one of the highest mobilities in the game. It is very light. It's very easy to use. It's not got much recoil. Overall, it's very good. However, it does get outcompeted at the moment by the next two, which is the Bullfrog. And as you guys probably guessed it, the last one on the list is the LC-10. The Bullfrog is one of the lowest recoil weapons in the game. It did receive a little buff recently, and it's just overall very good. You get a lot of bullets in the magazine as well. 65 bullets in the magazine. It doesn't decrease your mobility either, even if you have 65 bullets. So that's a lot of bullets, and you can take out a lot of people with those amount of bullets. Great mobility, great accuracy, great damage. But in the number one spot, we have the LC-10, which did get a pretty big buff in the most recent update. And it's by far one of the best SMGs you can use right now. Make sure to follow for more, subscribe for more, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.